Years ago, I was blessed to have a conversation with the man who bought our hitting system, who is a, a, a fanatic about hitting and batting. And uh, he was a wise man. He collected books, CDs, tapes, autographs, had discussions, he told me, with Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, Wade Boggs, Ted Williams, George Brett. The list went on and on. And one common theme he told me, he's noticed out of conversing with these great hitters of our game was this. This common thread keep pop, kept popping up in the conversations. He told me this, Dave, at a very young age, I learned that these hitters hit the ball a lot. Now he didn't def define how young they were and it didn't tell me how much was a lot I can only gather that with my own you know, speculations but I've always kept that close to my heart and close to my memory that the best hitters usually will hit a lot when they're at a very young age fast forward it into the common time we we're now um, many of you know my, that my son Alex Kirloff was blessed to be um, a number one draft pick in this year's MLB draft uh, of 2016. And he was blessed at a very young age to learn how to play the game when he was young, extremely young, um, taking batting practice off a of batting tee at 11 months old and starting to hit off the pitching machines at age three. And you know what, I've, I've come to learn and, and very blessed to realize, you know, I know the Lord's hand is on him and his development and his, his future. But with that hand, um, my son has learned how to just understand this common, this common idea with, with hitting the baseball or softball, as a potential softball. And here it is. The ball is out there, now it's right here. Let me say that again. The simplicity of hitting is this. The athlete understands the position of the ball is out there. Now it's right here. Another simple idea that my son and a lot of good hitters who pick up the game early in their life understand is that hitting is a lot like jumping on a merry-go-round that's already moving. And you have to pick your spot. Maybe you're designated this orange spot to, to jump on. And as you watch it go around, you have to, I guess, take into account how your body's going to move when it jumps on, how fast the, the merry-go-round is spinning, and at what point do I start to jump into with the merry-go-round to merge with it. It's a very simple idea, and but as coaches... We like to, I guess, fall into the trap of over-explaining our, our technique and over-explaining where's my elbow, where's my knee, where's my hip, where's my toe, where's my head, where's my balance point. And sometimes we never take into account that, you know what, I have to merge with this merry-go-round. How is it spinning? So the moving merry-go-round is like the pitcher and the person jumping on, that's the hitter. So when you... When you Take this simple idea and then delve deep into what is there. What is in this little pocket that's about to happen? And what factors, what's the recipe, what's the ingredient? You see that there's a lot of ingredients that, that pertain to this, this, this analogy of jumping on merry-go-round with vision, with adrenaline, with timing, with merging. And all those factors are explained in the video series, The World's Greatest Hitting Formula. And I delve into it partly with our best hitting drill ever. A trend that I'm, I'm seeing for many years now that even Major League Baseball executives and directors have fallen into, and it seems like, the, I guess, the go-to piece is a sports psychology. And having talked with a lot of the my friends and players who are still involved with the game right now, that moment they're about to take that jump, like they're going to jump onto the merry-go-round, the moment they're standing in the batter's box looking at the pitcher, the psychology of staying confident, 
the psychology of winning this pitch, the psychology of understanding process, it is basically, when you t talk to that, that individual, it is gone. It's out the window. What they're really relying upon is the recipe of how to merge. Or the recipe, basically, is this simple. The baseball, the softball, whatever you're hitting, and how you merge in with that that object and how, how it's out there and how it's going to be right here next to me. That's a simplicity and the best hitters just have a knack most of the time, maybe they could, because they just did it when they were so young, they've done it thousands of times, they understand their body and how to create this knack again. They can't put into words how they're doing it, they just do it. Now, can we, can we teach this knack? Only if we have knowledge and understanding of what's deeply inside the knack. Again, timing the vision, timing the adrenaline, Timing your tempo, your natural athletic tempo and disposition. These are the main pieces that's going to get your hitters to understand it better and to do it more effectively with more consistency. Most of you, if you're listening to this video, you're either a coach or you're a player who is seeking out information and seeking out knowledge. Okay? And we're, we're, we're both from the same cloth, right? you got to realize you only have a certain amount of clock left before the game is going to be over. So where you're just playing for fun. If you have this high ambition to play at a high level, you got to do it like most of the, the, the best players who ever played a game. you gotta, you got to you gotta get understanding when you're young. Learn the knowledge when you're young because you're taught, your clock is ticking ticking, ticking. And before long, maybe by the time you're 23, 24, 25, it's basically passed you by. And you can still enjoy playing the game, but you're just not going to play it at the high level you had hoped and dreamed of. Again, be very careful and conscious of not falling into the trap of the sports psychology. Be confident. You can do this. Um, you're a winner. You know, all this self-pump talk, it, it has its value. I'm not going to disagree with that. There is value to it. But what's really inside is having the knowledge of how do I manage this ball? How do I control the ball? Even though the ball is in the pitcher's hand, how do I control it? This is something, an element, a knack that best hitters have. Research, learn, study and find out what is knowledge. The shortcut is this. I've, it only take, it's only taken me 24 years to put this into a, a package formula. If it's taken me 24 years, maybe it'll take you sooner. But again, you only have a certain amount of clock to learn it and discover it. Seriously consider the world's greatest hitting formula or taking a look at the best hitting drill ever. I'm Dave Kirloff. May the Lord bless you.